Okay. Um, what I'm using is, you saw at the beginning, is I'm using the uh, TechSmith Snagit uh, Chrome app. And what we're trying to test out is seeing if that will work good enough for um, screencasting on a, uh, on a desktop. The machine I'm using is uh, it's a Linux box. It has um, Linux Mint 17 Cinnamon Edition. Um, I was previously using the Linux app Kazam, um, but I've been using uh, Snagit on the uh, Chromebook, and then there are some things I want to do on the desktop, and um, what I'm trying to figure out is if, if I could get to a point where um, I would use the same program both on my Chromebook and on my desktop. And so that's what I'm playing with today, so I'm checking the sound of the video. Um, this is a, a Camerama. It's a real basic, simple um, webcam app on Linux. Um, so I kind of have that going in the background. Um, so again, do little some action here to get some movement. And again, this is probably this is probably similar to a Windows 7 uh, menu, but I it works actually. A, a little better. It has an app that's called Configurable Menu on it, which totally allows you to customize it. So you, you could literally make your own menu. Um, not everyone likes doing stuff like that, but um, I really like it. So I kind of took parts from different, different types of menus and um, kind of created what would work for me. Um, and I can do the search here. Um, so let's see, let's take a quick look at, um, I'm going to bring that over. I like the snapping action. Um, I have an in sync partition and that's where I back up my Google Drive files. Now, previously I had converted them either to a LibreOffice or a DocX format. But I stopped doing that because they had a feature where you could n not um, convert it and leave it in its native format. And what's really nice about that is, um, I'll use this as an example, we right click and they have the InSync helper. So it'll automatically open it in the InSync helper. What is the InSync helper? Well, it actually opens the file directly in Google Drive. I mean, not just sends you to Google Drive, but opens the file in Google Drive. So I really like that. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. Um, you know, it sends you directly to Google Drive online, um, but you can, you know, um, do some interacting with it, um, you know, on your computer as far as searching for it and stuff like that. So we'll see how this sounds, see how it looks. <laughs> 